everyone, it's me, Curtis Parody, and I am back again building another house in the popular video game, The Sims 3, my uh, number one favorite video game, if you've never really guessed that before. So here we are today building what I am calling my Vista House. You will see why I call it a Vista House um, in a few moments, basically because of the beautiful Vista that you can see from it. Now the whole idea behind this house, um, there were mainly two. And I will explain those uh, right now because it, it kind of makes sense because I'm, you know, kind of talking about it, kind of leading it on. So, you know, why, why don't I just explain it to you? So, um, number one, the idea behind it is that there is only one wall in this house, one major wall. It's at the back. And um, then it looks, it's supposed to appear that the bottom foundation goes up the back and then comes over the top, which you're seeing here because I'm going to flatten this down in a second. Now uh, this top roof piece here, I'm going to flatten it down and uh, make it look like it curves over from the back. So a uh, cool idea. And then in inside it, in between uh, the two floors there, um, I'm going to be putting glass around the entire thing. So for the people that absolutely hate when I put tons and tons of windows into houses, uh, guess what? This house has lots of windows. You'll also notice that it is very white. Um, I just threw it all white. This is a secondary part to this house. The house and everything inside of it does not have color. There is uh, absolutely no color in this house except for stuff that is either natural, i.e. it comes from plants and uh, any sort of like vegetation that I can put in the house, or it comes from art pieces. So um, that's the only place that I'm getting color for this entire house. So um, all the furniture is white, all of the flooring, all of the ceilings, all of everything is white, 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 white. For one of two reasons, because I've always wanted to build a house that literally had everything white in it. And um, I figured, well, I should probably put some color into it. So I added in the idea of bringing nature in as the color. So as you can see here, there's that beautiful pot full of sunflowers on it. And uh, it stands out like crazy because it's the only thing with color on it. So uh, one of the kind of cool things that happen with it. So you can see the art piece again stands out. Same with the vase that's on that table, stands out. Now the living room area is sunken down. A really cool feature here. I also use the very small sectional. So it appears like it just like is flat right across there. Looks really cool. Again, add some vegetation in there to bring in the color. Here's a bathroom, the main floor bathroom, and on the other side, right beside it, will be the laundry room, which, um, of course, if you are me, and uh, when I do use this house, because I really like this house, so I do plan on using it, I'll be removing it, because I absolutely hate laundry, so, um, but for the people that do, I always include it in my houses. Second floor is completely open concept. Um, when you come up the stairs here, there's a small little, it's kind of like a study area. Um, so bookcases here, and there's going to be some nice artwork and some nice um, seating. As we move down to the other end, as you can see, this is all open concept. It's actually just like a big balcony. This is where the master bedroom is. So there is absolutely no door between either the whole upstairs and the whole downstairs. So it's all one big open area. The master bathroom is in the in the back here. Um, as you can see, there's an arch connecting the two, meaning that again, there is no real privacy there. Um, many of you might be like, Curtis, that's really weird. Um, no, it's open concept and that's how I like it. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, basement now we're in the basement uh, there's going to be a few rooms down here as you could see up there before when I was talking about something else there is a really cool atrium at the bottom of it and it has a bunch of sand in it some bamboo it's very natural again bringing in nature into this house that is overwhelmingly white so um, again as you can see I added plants and I went ahead and added artwork into every single room to bring in the color because that's the only place that there is color in this whole house. I was going to put some rugs in that were colorful but then I was like no because that doesn't really fit with the whole overall plan. Uh, back here I'm adding in a garage garage place to put your car for the people who hate the way that I pronounce garage garage carriage house. I don't know, like, if there's another word, I should I should have, like, uh, used a thesaurus to find, like, a bunch of different words for it, but um, I didn't. So there you go. It's a garage. Garage? Something. Uh, back here we have a, there's a parking area, and um, here's the main gate. Used kind of the same idea as the house, so um, there's, like, the piece that goes over top of the gate, which is kind of cool. Some fun landscaping. There's a hot tub back there. As you can see, there was a pool in the, uh, which is the back of the house, but I sometimes refer to it as the front, so hopefully that doesn't confuse you at all. Um, here we go. Again, more landscaping, putting in some paths, putting in uh, some more paths. I'll add trees momentarily. And yeah, it's that's that's how I do it. That's how I build my houses, you know. One tree at a time. 
That's how we, that's how I do it. So here we go. Boom. Green grass because I didn't really like the color of the grass. So I was like, let's, let's make it green, green grass. And here's all the trees. I uh, went with more of a sort of a foresty type look because of the trees that were around this house. Anyway, if you haven't already noticed, this house is built in Bridgeport, which comes with the late night expansion pack. So for you, if you're interested, that's where it all comes from. Here's the pool in the back. As you can see, a very nice big pool, and there are little fountains on the four corners of it. So um, that's the finished house. Here you go. We fly through Bridgeport. It's up on this top hill here. It's an amazing spot. It used to be a commercial lot, but I changed it into what is now a residential location. So here you can see the house, and uh, it looks amazing. As we, uh, as we move past the glass wall and the pool, Here's the atrium. I absolutely love this. This bamboo tree goes all the way through the top along with the staircases that are both on the same angle. It looks awesome. Here is the kitchen for the house. And um, talking about the house now, don't forget that you can actually download this house from the exchange. There is a link to go to my website in the description below. On my website, you'll find links to not only download this, but also view pictures. You can also like this. You can watch a bunch of other videos. You can find some great stuff on my website link in the description below it should be the first link also don't forget that you can find me on facebook facebook.com slash the curtis parody show twitter.com slash curtis parody and i am on google plus and there's a course links to all of this in the description below and um it's free to download this house too so many people continue to ask so free of charge and um you can download and you can have fun you can put your sims in this and it looks absolutely great here's one final pan around the house and uh, at night looks beautiful anyway I hope you enjoyed this video remember I'm Curtis parody and happy simming